All right. Um, so let's uh, install OpenBSD to this uh, old laptop. You can see I've got my, uh, my ethernet plugged in there. Uh, I'm connected to power. Um, you don't have to be connected to power if you've got a decent laptop charge. Um, if you're installing to a desktop, obviously you'll need to be connected to power, but the process doesn't take that long. Um, so, you know, you don't have to have that, but the ethernet connection is, uh, <clears throat> necessary if you only, uh, put, uh, the mini root on your, uh, flash drive. Um, if you put the install, uh, image, um, then you don't need an ethernet connection. Although, um, <clears throat> you will, uh, probably want an ethernet connection at some point. Um, if you, uh, well, yeah, you'll need an ethernet connection probably at some point, um, unless you're planning on doing everything over Wi-Fi. but I'll have to do a separate video on that. Um, so anyway, uh, the first thing that we need to do is, um, I'll plug in, plug in this USB drive um, over here. Sorry, I'm uh, holding everything right now, but if I can get it to, uh, ah. okay, we're in, as they uh, like to say in the in the hacker movies. So. Um, let me just get everything set up here. Um, yeah, normally I won't be just filming my screen, but I can't really, uh, don't really have the uh, technological capabilities to do that um, just yet. So uh, this first video is just going to be um, us setting up the BIOS. Um, so when this boots up, you'll see like F2 for setup, um, depending on like what the manufacturer is, uh, to get into the BIOS, it might be F2, it might be F10, it might be escape, it might be delete. Um, it's best to just sort of mash a bunch of them at the beginning. Um, but yeah, if you can't figure it out, you can always Google like BIOS shortcut key. Um, and then like the brand of your laptop, like Samsung or Asus or HP, um, or Acer, um, or Lenovo. Yeah. Um, and then, so I'm just using the arrow keys to navigate here. Uh, if we go to boot and then see that boot device priority, you can use your arrow keys to navigate and, and then hit enter to select. Um, some more modern BIOSes you can actually use the mouse in. But then if I use my arrow keys to scroll down to the SanDisk, you can see over there on the right, it says like F6 and F5 moves the device up or down. Uh, so I'll hit uh, F6 to make this the first thing that SanDisk, make it the first thing that uh, gets booted to. Um, and then just hit F10 to save and exit. And uh, yeah, that'll work. And then uh, your laptop should start booting up. You can just let it go this time because we've changed the BIOS settings. And <clears throat> you'll see this sort of boot screen. It'll boot automatically if you don't do anything. Um, <clears throat> and this is much slower with the uh, like install disk. Normally this is way faster. Um, but it's just, you know, reading off of a USB drive. So it's a little bit slower. Um, and uh, the D message will, will scroll by and you should get to this little prompt. And uh, if you get to this little prompt, um, you can go to the next video um, that you want. I'm gonna have, um, if you wanna have a full, have full disk encryption, um, you can check out the full disk encryption video. Otherwise, you can uh, just skip to the, the regular install video. Uh, so that's it for this one. Um, if you liked this video, uh, leave a thumbs up uh, or hit that like button.
and uh, if you disliked it, uh, hit the uh, the dislike button. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you uh, any have any uh, uh, questions, criticisms, comments, um, leave those in the uh, or concerns. Leave those in the comments. Um, and if you want to get notified when I post new videos, um, hit the subscribe button. But uh, that's it for this one. Thanks so much. Bye. Peace.